did I just work out on day one of my period? Yes, I did. That, I know I'm committed. <laughs> I know I'm committed because that's, that's not the funnest situation to be in, but whatever. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, guys. I'm gonna put you here, but hopefully, hopefully the, I'll turn it down a little. Sound of the heat doesn't bother you. I did the stepper until I couldn't step anymore. It was like 10 minutes. But at the 10 minute mark, I was like, over and out, I'm done of that. And I walked the track I'm at. 6,218 steps and it is 9.50 a.m. I did the, I don't know what they're called. It's the one where you're, you put your leg, you just push like this with your, like your feet and your legs. I did that. Um, I didn't do any arms because I have like a really good arm workout thing at home, like machine. And I like to do it at home just because it's better than the one at the gym. And that was my morning. So I have to go get some groceries. Okay, Trevor got me flowers yesterday for Valentine's Day and they're so beautiful. And he got Florence flowers and they're so beautiful. Our first Valentine's Day together, Florence was, well, August, September, October, November, December, January. So she was six months old and he showed up at my house with roses for me and I can't remember if it was a rose or flowers. I'll have to go. No, it was a rose and like a single rose for Florence. And I, I just remember thinking like that was the sweetest thing ever. I'm like, he gave her a freaking rose. That was so cute. And he's done it every single year since. He's either given her a bouquet of flowers or a rose every year for Valentine's Day. And I think that's so beautiful and sweet. And there has been years where I was like, are you gonna get Florence flowers? Like just to, cause I know she's at the point where she like looks forward to it. And he's always been like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this year I didn't say anything. <laughs> cause I was like, I'm just gonna see if he does, if he does it. And he did, he came home with a thing of flowers for me and then a thing of flowers for Florence. It was so cute. It's it, like, I can't even explain it. Like, it's literally the most beautiful thing. Oh, we're crying already, but it's, it's so beautiful. Did you guys watch the Super Bowl halftime show? What the heck? I usually don't really get the hype with all that stuff. Cause I'm just like, whatever. Like, I like music more than I like, like movies and stuff. Like I don't follow celebrities, but I know more about like, people what are they called music pe artists you know what i mean singers i know more about them than i do celeb like actors and stuff so anyways i was like yeah i i know who they are maybe i'll watch the halftime show i watched it and i loved it i was like that brought me back to my youth like that was so i loved it i thought it was the best halftime show i haven't seen many of them but i've seen a few and I loved it. I'm using um my what is this? Rose quartz palette. It's so, it's so pretty. I can't handle this palette. It's literally like it's so pretty. I have to pick Alex up early from school. I hate doing that. I hate when I have to pick them up early from school because he's getting his second dose of the vaccine today. And I'm excited about that for him, especially with like all these like travel plans we have. Not even just travel plans, but like staycations and stuff that we are doing. And I just, I'm so glad that he's getting it. But uh, I hate like going to the school. <laughs> being like oh hi I don't know I just I'm just weird little things like that I can't handle I'm just like oh I dread it I dread walking in and just being like hi and then part of me is like like I'm a mom but I'm not a mom <laughs> like I'm just like I feel like I'm picking up like a <laughs> I don't know 
Like, I've been a mom for 13 years, and I'm still, like, but I'm not a mom. Like, yeah, I'm a mom, but, like, not. I'm not really, like, a mom. <laughs> I don't know. It's so weird. I just, sometimes I just literally don't, like, I literally still feel like I'm in elementary school or junior high or, like, you know what I mean? The fact that I have a kid in junior high and one in elementary school, I'm like, no, I don't. Last night, Trevor and I went to uh, this restaurant called the Rustic Red Rustic Grill. It's in uh, it's in the Holman's Hotel, and it is one of our favorite restaurants to get steak. They have the best steak. So we went last night. We had a steak dinner, and it was so, so good. Oh, it's been a long time since I had a steak, but it was delicious. Here's the flowers that I got. He also gave me some Mr. Big candy chocolate. I love flowers. I'm like one of those girls that loves getting flowers. I, I really like it. You ever set off your own car alarm and don't know how to turn it off? <laughs> That's literally what just happened to me. I was putting my groceries in the trunk and sure enough, my car, like, I don't, maybe every car is like this, but if my doors are locked, but I open the trunk, then the alarm will go off and I forgot that to unlock the car first. And my car was going off like crazy and I could not for the life of me figure out how to turn it off. So... Anyway, oh, okay, so I have a funny story about my Fitbit. <laughs> it's, well, I think it's funny. Trevor didn't think it was that funny, but so I put my Fitbit on yesterday or whatever. No, Sunday night I put it on and I woke up to the bathroom and when I came back to bed, Trevor was like, what time is it? This is in the middle of the night, right? And I checked my Fitbit and I was like, 8.30. <laughs> like, he has to be at work by eight like he leaves our house like right after seven and he was like what <laughs> he gets up he like shoots out of bed <laughs> and i'm here all casual it's 8 30 but um anyways he checked his phone he was like it's one o'clock and i was like oh <laughs> but the thing is is my fitbit um because of my new phone i don't i didn't have it linked to my new phone yet so it was still going off whatever time this would have died at you know what i mean it didn't have it synced to my phone so it said it was 8 30 but it was one in the morning it was so funny because he was literally like what <laughs> like it was so dark and everything it was so confusing but so funny and i just die laughing in the bed i'm like, <laughs> like oh my god sorry Oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't sync it to my phone. In case anyone's interested in a really rushed grocery haul, I'll show you what I got. <laughs> Strawberries, sugar snap peas, green, uh, you know, stream beans. Some banana. I'm the only one that eats bananas, and I only like them when they're this color, so I never buy many of them. Uh, raspberries, red pepper, cucumber, red onion, apples lettuce spicy sweet kale some of this bacon stuff uh those things blackberries some sour cream and bacon i bought the mango bubbly to try i just put some in the fridge i haven't tried that flavor yet the spicy dill pickle that's alex's all-time favorite i got a few of these smart sweets some of them are still in the bag those Alex loves those. I've never tried this feta in a bag. I always get it in the water stuff. So I'm gonna try that. So I do like to add feta to salads and stuff. This, I bought a lot of cheese cause it was on sale. Caramel, corn, <laughs> or whatever that is, rice cakes, banana, Greek yogurt. I didn't unload this bag yet, but like I said, I got a lot of cheese. Amazon. I got, this is my favorite salad dressing, the Greek feta. Uh, some of those oranges. We got croissants, chocolate chip muffins, and cheese strings. Do you wanna say hi? 
She's home for lunch. <laughs> it's a very uh, just basic stuff. I didn't buy any meat at all because we don't need any. We don't need any. Allie, no. Oh, there's stuff in that bag too. Oh God. There's another bag. <laughs> I heard. I heard her like coming around in here. Okay, so we got Caesar dressing, coffee, and French vanilla cappuccino, and more smart sweets. Come on, baby. Don't play in there. Alex and I are off to get our <laughs> second dose. We had a park so far, and it's so cold out today. How do you park at the casino? What? How do you park at the casino? I don't know. I'm weird with parking. We were driving and we came by a outdoor rink. We wanted to check it out, see how the ice was. So we can remember this rink and maybe come back. I don't know. How is it? It's okay. Is it okay? It looks good. We are gonna try the new Mango Bubbly and <laughs> see what we think. So, this is it here. It looks very similar to the peach one. Oh, it smells very much like apricot, or not apricot, mango, but it um, smells a bit like peaches too, but I feel like it's a similar type of scent. It tastes exactly like mangoes. But I don't like it. I mean, I it's just not a flavor that I gravitate. I can see how people absolutely love this. It's very flavorful. It's just not my, like, there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't really tend to, like, gravitate toward these flavors. But I really wanted to try it. I'll definitely drink the whole box, but I won't buy it again. It's not my thing. Alex did so well with his vaccine. And um, I'm really proud of him. I was trying so hard while I was there not to cry because, like, there was, there was a kid there getting vaccinated and the fear of needles is a real thing. And this poor kid was just trying their hardest to not be there and to fight off the needle. And oh my gosh, this kid was just so scared. And the mother just looked so defeated and just like, honestly, I thought she was going to be like, we're not doing it. We'll just come back another day. <laughs> like, it was not going well. And like, it took multiple people to hold this child down. Like three, I think three people to hold this child down. And uh, God bless that mother. And that child because that is not easy like i feel like i could cry oh i was trying so hard not to cry when i was there because i just felt for them but like she knew she must have she must have known that like that's what was going to happen and she still took her child to go get vaccinated like that's incredible like that's so hard that's so hard um and she still took that kid to get vaccinated and to like do their part and to like help us all get out of this thing. And like that poor kid. Oh. Like I just felt like I'm not one to like approach people. I wanted to tell her like, you're doing amazing. Your child's doing amazing. Like your child's scared. And like this, this, the child wasn't being bad. The child was scared, like petrified. And like, we all have been during this whole thing. Like we've all been there. We've all felt scared to tears or like just so fed up with everything. And I think a lot of the times we don't think of the children in all of this and like, Oh, I can't imagine how scary and hard this is for kids and certain kids that really like it. Like as me as like me as a child, just like living through a pandemic would have been so hard and so scary, and I would have hated it. And the unknown and the uncertainty and the fears and like vaccines and like it's it's a lot for a child. 
I just, oh, my heart went out to her and her child. It's been a few hours, many hours actually. It's nighttime. <laughs> uh, but I just had this, ed this video edited up to this point and my iMovie crashed and I could not get it working. So I had to delete it and then reinstall it. And I lost the whole video. So that's what I'm gonna be doing tonight. I'm gonna to be editing this video again for the second time. That's okay, because I like editing. I have nothing else to do tonight. The kids have no homework. Um, well, I mean, I have laundry to fold, but other than that, nothing. I'm gonna pack my gym bag tonight. I didn't pack it last night, and I was rushed this morning looking for it. But I reached 10,000 steps today. And I'm very proud of that. And funny thing, I'm thinking it's the calm, but I'm not sure. But like, remember I was saying I'm sleeping really good and stuff? Well, I, I am sleeping really good, but I always sleep really good. But the thing is, I don't fall asleep really good normally because my mind always races before I fall asleep. But then once I'm asleep, I'm good. It's just to like fall asleep. Sometimes I struggle and I literally don't even have a thought in my head when I go to bed. I just conk out. And it's so amazing. Guess what time I fell asleep last night, according to my Fitbit? 9.47 p.m. I was asleep before Florence. <laughs> like, what? It's never, I'm always like a midnight type of bedtime girl. I've been falling asleep so early and I wake up at like 6.37 and it's so nice. I feel so refreshed and it's like, I'm not exhausted waking up. I'm not waking up like immediately going into making breakfast and like getting everyone's ready. Like I, I have a few minutes to just like breathe and I always go out and look at the sunrise and uh, it's so nice. I don't know if it's the calm. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't give that the credit, but maybe it's just me, but I don't know. I'm noticing that I like that new change that's happening. <laughs> Open it up. Watch me say it and it won't happen tonight. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with me today, guys. And I'll see you guys real soon with another video. Bye.